Now, someone sent me the pictures of this um, ES9 model, and I'm telling you, I still on the screen notice that this this is a picture of of the ES9, upcoming ES9, and I'm telling you, my dear friends, this is so massive. I don't think we have seen really how this car looks like, but uh, we have seen to detail how this car looks like, even on the exterior. I'm telling you, it's going to be so massive. It's going to be so massive, and it made me not to uh, to it made me to think about the official launch, which is expected to come uh, sometime now in the first half of this year. This car, you will know that is going to be the flagship model under the Neo uh, main brand for the for the SUVs, right? We don't know if obviously it will be the most expensive or it will be slightly lower than the 89. But I can tell you now that. It's not so many people that are going to afford this car. In fact, I had highlighted before that I think the interior might look similar, if not better, than the ET9. And we know it's coming with the active suspension, sky ride chassis system, and that in itself we know it's quite pricey. It's only found on the ET9. It's gonna come with the steer by wire. That also it's quite pricey, and it's coming. It's gonna take that from the 89 and it makes me to look forward look forward to what is coming so we might get even a better much better technology of, of um, uh, uh, from uh, like that of the ET, ET9 because this is the latest model and I don't think Neo can just of course make the interior to be the same so worst case it will be the same but I'm quite certain that the interior is going to look a bit different from the ET9 because ET9 was launched during New Year Day, December of 2024, and deliveries uh, only came in March of last year. So I think this one will be much better because it is the latest model that Neo is going to introduce to the market. So I expect more and greater features. I mean, have a look at the more photos. This one is, uh, is the two tone and is standing next to a private jet. This car, I'm telling you, it is going to not only be the largest SUV in China, but it's, it might be the largest SUV in the entire world. And this is good, knowing that it, it, it's coming from Neo. I'm telling you, we need to brace ourselves what is coming. In as much as we are not anticipating massive sales from this car, but I'm telling you, we should brace ourselves for what is coming because Neo continues breaking barriers of what is currently out there in the market for cars, not just EVs, but the car market as a whole. And this is the good thing or the best thing and why I invest and remain on to Neo for the longest period is because of things or technological advancements like this, where Neo does not follow the rest of the market or the rest of the car makers globally, but they want to do something new. This is why I'm long and strong on to Neo because Neo does not follow the crowd, but they want very much or they like standing out a lot. It is for that reason that even during the launch of the all new Neo ES8, the Neo CEO kept on saying a statement, industry first, industry first. It is because they want to separate themselves from the, most of the EV makers out there, which is something that is great, something that is exciting. And it is for that reason that I remain long and strong on to Neo. So when I saw this picture, I mean, have a look at the headlights. Let, let's let see that, that, that first picture again. Have a look at the headlights, man. You can see that this is the next level. I cannot wait to see how, 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 how it looks like in terms of how the lights are when they are on and all that. It's so amazing. The interior, it will be so amazing. And I look forward, I look forward to that. And those of you that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will definitely be rewarded with time. I'm telling you, it's gonna go down. It will be going down and I look forward to what is coming. I know, I know, I know share price wise, Neo might not be doing the most, but this company, it's expected to do very well. One of the videos I covered for you yesterday, we're talking about the price, target raised by Macquarie who said, look, the Neo not uh, 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 not making it through in China is uh, something that is in the blind spot mirror. 
Neo knows how to move, how to press forward, and they know how to survive even through the uh, price war, attention uh, market in China. And this makes Neo to be at a very good, strong position that will make them to last until until. This is the best news that, or one of the best news that we read this uh, year coming from an analyst who, by the way, was neutral onto Neo, but now they've, they've, they, they've went overweight. It's so amazing and it is to products like this, it is to the technological advancement like this where we see Neo continuing doing more or doing well. It's so amazing, man, and it makes me to look forward, look forward to what is coming because Neo is a company that, that not only is doing well right now, but it is the company that will continue doing well even in the years to come. And the people that are going to be rewarded are those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price. So yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. I look forward to the launch of the ES9. I look forward to the starting price of the ES9. Whether it will be above or below the, the, the starting price of ET9, which starts around 788,000 RNB, approximately $100,000, you and me can agree that the more Neo uh, launch new products, the cheaper the products become. So I won't be surprised if the starting price of the ES9 is slightly lower than that of the ET9, even though it's an SUV, because that is what Neo has been doing recently, making sure that unlike what most of majority of the companies all over the world, when they launch a new model, it becomes a more expensive uh, as compared to the previous version of that same model. Neo, the more they launch new models, the prices are either remaining the same or they are taking down the prices. That is what we saw on the ES8. That is what we saw when you're launching the ES8. ES8 used to be over, over 500,000 RNB, but right now it starts around 407 RNB. It's even cheaper than the previous models or previous variants of that model, which is something that I, it's making me to say, I will not be surprised to see, of course, the ES9 cheaper than the ET9 because the more you evolve, innovate, um, the years blow by, the more they, their cars are becoming cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, which is absolutely great. They are offering 100 kilowatt hour batteries as standards on all of their um, models, excluding the 89, right? Our main brand models, all of them, they are coming with standard battery pack, but the the car, the price of the car, even with that, it did not change. Remember before, they were using 75 kilowatt hour batteries, but even with them uh, scraping off the 75 kilowatt hour battery uh, as a standard battery for their cars and bringing 100 kilowatt hour battery, the prices remain the same, which is what makes me to remain long and strong on Neo, which is why I'm happy about Neo especially also going to the future because ultimately their cars will become so affordable to almost everyone but anyways we are not there i i thought of coming and giving you this latest development tell me what you think about this blue sky is coming long term will win and those that are persevering throughout the adults of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time it does take me some time to create this kind of content which is why i ask you to like to subscribe to hit or click the notification bell so that at least you can be notified by YouTube every time I drop a new one. I will see you in the next one. That is all from me and God bless you all.